Oprah. So, Oprah and chauffeur, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Clearly, my job is not safe. <laughs> I'm going to end uh, today's TED Talk with uh, the concept of vision. And some might argue that that's a bit counterintuitive, that you should start, should have started the day with vision. And my sophisticated counter-argument to that would be, do the same thing. <laughs> if you understand how to use vision properly, to me, then the vision that you have at the end should be perfectly aligned with the vision that you have at the beginning. Um, and meaning the vision that we have at the end of our talk today, the end of our uh, conference today, should hopefully be in line with the vision of the beginning of the conference and should be in line with the vision for tomorrow. Um, I guess what I'm saying is th there's a secret that most people don't know about the mind, right? So I'm going to tell you this secret. Just come here for me. Lean in. Cause it's, a it's a secret. People lean in. <laughs> God, you act like you never heard a secret before. The mind is a sucker for us. Okay? Remember that. The mind, dude, the mind is gullible. If you understand the science of neuroplasticity, then you know that the mind will believe almost anything we tell it. Right? As long as you're convincing, right? So if you say to the mind, I am at the TEDx San Diego conference, and the mind will say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And it will look around, okay, we'll check the stage, we'll look at the speaker, we'll say, okay, widen its view, we will feel the cushion behind you and the seats, and it will look in the theater, see the open minds in your periphery, and lean forward, and it will see, widen its view, and it will smell the smells and see the lights and the sounds and, you know, taste the bits of gluten-free salad still stuck in your teeth. <laughs> and it will say, okay, yes, you are. And just so, if you tell the mind firmly, plant in your mind that you are whatever it is that you want to prove that this, in, in terms of how this world is in your grasp, that you are standing, you know, at the, at the precipice of, the, of, of world peace, right? You're standing in front of the building where all warlord criminals have just been brought to justice. Or you're standing in, 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 a, in a, uh, uh, an environment of nature that, that, is, that is the first to combat global warming with any sort of chance of succeeding. Then the mind will say, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And it will look around and listen to the thousands of people cheering in the street that you plant in it. And it will feel the bark of the trees that you're surrounded by, and it will feel the, 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 the circumference and the weight of the world in your palm, and it will say, yes, you are. So everyone close your eyes right now. Close your eyes, everyone. I'm, I can see everyone, so don't try to cheat. <laughs> All right? You're in a safe space. No one's going to grab your bag or stick their finger in your ear. Just close your eyes. <laughs> and I want you all to take a deep, slow breath in. Hold it. Now exhale. And now firmly plant in your mind one singular vision for the world that you want to see and how it is that you can impact. It doesn't matter how far reaching it is, one way that you want this world to change and how you're going to be a part of that. Firmly plant it in your mind. See it. Smell it. Taste it. What's beneath your feet. What's in the air? What's pressing against your skin? Now take one more deep breath. Exhale. Open your eyes. And so it is tomorrow again, which means I take over my world today. See, I speak in present tense because these events are in play and, well, I can't see it going no other way. <laughs> and so it is already done. My time has already come. I simply think ahead in reverse to see how it will be won, then work back from riches to rags, from cake to crumbs. This story's ending begins when my inner kingdom comes, when I reset my foresight on a vision so precise, it creates a reality three steps ahead of my life. See, three plays ahead, that's the only way I play the game. I'm not the small forward or the power forward, I'm the fast forward, three frames. Not the quarterback or the running back, I'm the coming back to reclaim. I am now able to see the future before it came. Now that doesn't make sense. Wait, um, Meaning, meaning, I saw the future before it comes. 
I'm getting confused here. Um, okay, meaning this game will be won in three, split indecision in two, refocus my vision on one, and three choices ago, it was already done. I speak in present tense because these events are in play, and I can't see it going no other way. And so my victory has arrived. <laughs> my fate finally realized, but only once I expand my possibility size, which can't happen until I keep my eyes locked on the prize, work back. First keep my prize up in the skies, work back. First keep my skies behind my eyes, so that I always remember where God lies. From inside, I throttle up my passions, hollow through distraction, follow through with action, till tomorrow is what happened. I'm a licensed attorney practiced in the laws of attraction. Enter through the jaws of detraction, but exit unscathed. Get better with each day, improve with each mistake. All that I seek is within my reach, it's already mine to take. Fate is mine to make, it's no time to wait, it's time to break. Time to wake up and find a way. I speak in present tense, because these events are in play, and I can't see it going no other way. And so I will not delay on getting started, for the time is now to make the world of others as blessed as mine is now. Because now, it's so easy from my private island in Fiji <laughs> uh -huh, to give back to communities and, you know, protect the species and our seas and partner with sharks and termites in the classroom of biomimicry. Uh, make education my homework. I'll put our global warming on freeze. Make canvases of our cities and, and bring art to 3D. Still the tremble of homelessness like a philharmonic breeze. Balance our cells from mobile to stem to gel with conscious heat. Invest millions of ones and zeros to digitize cure for disease, move our rudder, change our shape, find magic in technology through six million bionic-minded girls who love their STEM degrees and years of history preserved by storytellers who love kahanis and millions of, of women's lives saved by people who just love boobies. You know? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yes to boobies, yes for boobies, yes for boobies, yes. And so they pump their fists and their wrists, right, and fight for a world that's cancer-free and fight for a world that, that, that feeds and breathes with ease and fight for a world that needs no unmet necessities and fight for a world at peace. But that is only achieved once I... work back, up the degrees on my black belt like a brawler, my PhDs like a scholar, my MVPs like a baller, my GMP like a dollar that keeps tripling in worth, thickening the purse, but first I work back, outsmart debt and get financially free, advance and relieve myself of unsupportive beliefs, demand to succeed in everything that I seek. Before that reach, I work back, overthrow my flaws, sanction my inner laws, expect the effect but first, stand for a cause. Expect the effect. But first, stand for a cause. But first, avoid the pitfalls. But first, learn from mistakes, which can't take place until I work back. Uh, 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 act in the face of fear. <laughs> Laugh with a face of tears which I won't learn until I make learning my career. So I read books for the hell of it, educate my intelligence, which really isn't relevant unless I also start to strengthen my other quadrants, body, spirit, and, and heart. So I work back, cut fat, and get muscles cut. See my body healthy. Wait for my mirror to catch up. <laughs> Let's go. See my spirit wealthy, wait for my pockets to step up, which doesn't get much if I don't hustle every night, which triples my hater population, so I must be doing all right. <laughs> but that's only within sight. Once I reprogram myself, rewrite my mission statement and re-slogan myself as an alchemist who turns choice into truth, beliefs into acts, crumbs into stacks, and doesn't wait until I'm rich to give back, because even when I have nothing, I have nothing in my way. So I work back 
begin my tomorrows today. I speak in present tense because these events are in play and I can see it going no other way. I am not a successful accident. I am the result of prayer, poise, and practice. And I'm not some medium or, or, or clairvoyant or telepathic. No, nah, I'm a fortune teller who tells my fortunes what's going to happen. <laughs> Writes the fortunes for my cookies. Huh? <laughs> Keeps my fortune stacking. I hold my whole world in my hands, firmly in my grasp, and let globe become crystal through which I behold and witness this vision into existence. Then I work back to this moment and see this reality in its essence, but I refuse to call it my future. I call it my present, and so it is already in play. I call it my now, and so it is already in motion. I call it my truth, and so it is already inevitable. I call it my destiny, and so it is. Thank you. Thank you, Justin.